In this video, I'm taking you quickly into a Goodwill that I stopped in on my way to another errand. The prices were a bit high, but I did find a few things. I will show you what I found at the end of the video. So here we go. I was considering this square table because we are always looking for a card table and this one was priced under $10, which was a very good deal. I loved this open hutch. I've always wanted an open hutch, but they had $69.99 on it. And for my decor, I would want to redo it. So that was a bit high for having to redo the piece. This old secretary was priced very well. I don't even remember, I think it was $19.99. I can't see the tag there. And then I realized why. It was missing its key and the whole thing was locked because of it. So the secretary part wouldn't open and the cabinet on top wouldn't open. So not a very useful piece of furniture. I was looking at this piece uh, the reason I went into this Goodwill is I am participating in a Look for Less collab hosted by Jamie from Border Bananas next week. And so I was looking at that vase as a potential candidate for a Look for Less. I really liked these Homer Laughlin restaurant wear plates. Very cool. They don't go with my decor. They're only 99 cents a piece. Now I do have an antique space, but I told you I'm kind of chilling out on buying dishes for it until I see what is going to sell. But I did th think those are priced very well and very cool. I loved this teapot. It looked like Fiesta ware to me, but there was no mark on it. So I'm guessing it was not, but it was a good reproduction. Love the color of the glaze, but I don't generally buy teapots. I know a lot of people skip over the glassware aisle, but I always check to see if maybe there's something I could flip. These were cool. They were like pedestal bowls. There was four of them. I don't know what they would be for. Do you guys have any ideas? Because they were kind of large. This little ironstone creamer pitcher caught my eye because it was made in Ireland, which is kind of unusual. And you know, I'm always checking the price of these daily bread plates. This was not a Wilton, I don't believe. And this one was at $2.99. It was much less heavy than the normal one, but you're gonna see they had the normal one. And my friend Kate and I have discovered that for whatever reason, these Wilton plates, the price on the Wilton plate, if you can find a Wilton plate, tends to correspond with the price point of the Goodwill. So here's one for $4.99, that was also not Wilton, but here's a Wilton, bless this house, which is basically the same as the give us this day, our daily bread, $5.99. That is a really high price on this. And it makes sense because the prices at this Goodwill were really high. They had a very nice selection of roosters on this day. I don't know if someone donated their collection. I have pared down my personal collection, so I wasn't gonna be picking any of them up, but I did like to look at them. I just like roosters, I think they're cute. 
There was not much of a selection in the basket aisle, unfortunately. That is one of my favorite things to look at. I did see this bushel basket, but it did not have a price. And at this Goodwill, if something doesn't have a price, they just put it in the back. They won't put a price on it for you. I considered this Captain America wall shelf for my hubby for his comic book room, but we are kind of lacking wall space in there right now, so I left that behind. I really love caddies, and so I was looking at this one, it was priced at $4.99, and then I turned it around and it looked like someone had already DIY'd it, but I was still thinking about it because it was a nice size. They had these big Pottery Barn candle holders, which were actually really nice. They don't really fit my style right now, and they were $7 a piece. And here's my thrift store regret for the day. I'm not in their current state, but I definitely could have used this for one of my Look for Less projects. Alas, I did not pick those up. I'm starting to keep an eye out for little Easter collectibles to put in my antique space. This was really cute, but at $4, I wasn't gonna turn much of a profit on that. I will probably look more closely at the Goodwill outlet bins because then I can get stuff really cheap to sell in the shop. And for anyone watching who might be a glass expert, this hen on nest, is it supposed to have a white head? Because I've seen this before where like you have a two-tone hen on nest. And I always wonder, is it a factory error or were those made like that on purpose? I always look at the lamps. I don't even know what I'm looking for at this point, but I guess if I saw it, maybe I would know it. <laughs> I do actually need new lamps for my bedroom side tables because one of ours seems to have a short in it, but I don't know really what I want. So I guess I need to look and think about that a little more closely before I buy something from Goodwill. I always love vintage cases and jewelry boxes. This caught my eye and it actually, once I got it open, turns out that it's a cassette holder, which was kind of neat. A relic from the 80s. <laughs> I was checking out this clock because sometimes if the clock doesn't work or if you can get it for cheap, you can use the glass cloche in your decor and not have to use the clock. But for $7, it would be a lot to buy it and just use the cloche. I am on the hunt for a metal candle holder, kind of like this to set in front of my fireplace with candles that come on and off at night but I did not love the leaf motif on this one. All right, I'm cheating today. I'm not going to be in the video today because quite frankly, it's Friday and I'm late getting this done and I didn't feel like doing my makeup. <laughs> so I only got four things. I got the tote, the caddy, and I did have a coupon for 20% off. So I didn't pay $4.99. I paid 20% off of $4.99. And I am going to take off, I'm gonna sand this down and do my own DIY to it. Probably put, I don't know, I haven't quite decided yet, but I thought for that price, it was a good deal. And then I did get this vase. 
This will be in a look for less coming soon your way. I think that's next week or the week after that. I can't remember the date, but that's what this was for. And that is the reason I went in was to find something to do use for my look for less. So that was $4 with 20% off. And then I got the gorgeous pink plate. You know, I love these plates from Portugal. So this was $1.99 and I don't have a ton of the pink. So I was happy to add this into my collection. I have cabbage plates. This one is actually like celery <laughs> or something. Lettuce, there's lettuce on the edge there. And it looks like maybe tomato vines and then celery here in the center. So that was a good find. And the last thing I got is for another thrift flip. I got this little guy. It was 20% off of six, which is a little high, but I was really drawn in by this glass, um, brown glass doorknob. That was really cute. So I am definitely going to flip this, probably do a little paint on it and add it into my home decor for probably the winter, maybe just the spring. So, and that's it. So that is my two minute haul. I'm sorry I'm not in the video. You know, I don't take the easy way out most days, but it's just, it's been quite a week which I'm not gonna get into, but that's that. Anyway, I hope you're having a good day and I will see you with my face on Sunday. Take care guys, have a good weekend.